All right, guys, welcome to the video. Thank you for watching. Do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button. That helps support and grow the community here on YouTube. And if you enjoy content about the gaming industry and PlayStation news, rumors, and leaks, please consider subscribing or becoming a channel member. So more studio closures at PlayStation. This time it's PlayStation London Studio. They have sent a heartfelt goodbye message to players as it shuts its doors after 22 years in operation. A sad day for PlayStation Studios. Sony Interactive Entertainment announced mass layoffs across the PlayStation division in February, which resulted in 900 redundancies. London Studio took the biggest hit, however, being completely shut down. They go on to say, for over 20 years, London Studios has been home to some exceptionally talented and wonderful people in the gaming industry. As we close the doors and all go forward to new adventures, we wanted to say a heartfelt thank you to all of our past and present players and colleagues who have supported us over the years. We've had one wild and wonderful journey. The studio official X profile has been updated to note that it is now closed. Known for its SingStar series, London Studio was formed in 2002 as the result of two video game developers, Signostis and Team Soho, merging together. It also created a number of games for PS2's iToy. Unfortunately, London Studio saw a reduced output in recent years with games that didn't quite take off commercially. Its final releases were 2019's PSVR game Blood and Truth and FMV Erica. Unfortunately, we are seeing this more and more across the gaming and tech industries right the way through from 2023 into 2024. Mass layoffs across Sony, Microsoft, Google, Meta, Netflix, and many others across the world. Hopefully all those that are affected find new opportunities over the coming months and weeks ahead. Okay, let's move on. We are well aware that Sony is exploring other ways to expand its reach and realize more profits for its business. It's also no secret that Sony is desperate for a smartphone success story. Companies like uh, Hoya Voice, if I've pronounced that correctly, Ho Yo Verse. Ho Yo Verse. They've proven that titles can transcend different devices, with the likes of Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail huge on PS5, PC, and mobile. PlayStation has been scrambling to set up mobile subsidiary within its business for years, acquiring developer Neon Koi and going through some leadership changes. However, we are yet to really see the fruits of its labor. But Sony PlayStation is not giving up. A recently discovered job listing for a mobile platform architect revealed that Sony is still very much committed to the plan and it's actively looking for someone who can spearhead the development of an infrastructure which will allow it to better develop, publish and operate free-to-play mobile games. While it's hard to glean too much information right now from the recruitment post, it sounds like the successful candidate will be building internal tools to help streamline the management of PlayStation's proposed mobile catalog. Ultimately, it means that for now, Sony is still committed to the idea of making smartphone games. While we're sure there will be criticism for Sony, it does make sense. Mobile gaming makes up a huge proportion of the gaming industry's income these days, and with the current quality of smartphones getting better with each new generation, there's no real reason why Sony can't develop for PS5 and mobile like many Chinese and Korean developers do right now. I think Sony will be looking at this mobile strategy in line with its handheld device strategy, releasing games that will work on a mobile device and the handheld device. AAA games made for PlayStation and PC will then be ported over to handheld and mobile devices. You can see it now with people playing games like Call of Duty on mobile and it's really popular all over the world. Admittedly, this really isn't for me. For me, it's about the console and living room experience. I have experienced the, the, the bedroom PC uh, gaming experience and I have to admit I really enjoyed it. But at the moment, I'm still at the uh, the console living room stage and that's that for me is where I get my best games. I think it needs to, I think Sony needs to think of a strategy that allows for its games to reach new players. Players that are probably not going to invest in a PlayStation ecosystem, but to take the software and games to those players on PC, mobile, and handheld. Hmm. Where have I heard that before? Take the games to the players not in our ecosystem. Sounds like a Microsoft strategy, right? Take the games to the players. Well, Sony's doing it, doing it right now. They're doing it with mobile, where they're developing the strategy for the future, and they're taking games to PC. So you can kind of see where the gaming industry is heading, right? You've got games for the console, and then you've got games that are going beyond the console. Once it's had its time on the console, it then goes to other platforms. So let's move on. Square Enix is at work on the final installment of the Final Fantasy VII Remake trilogy, though past reports have claimed that with Final Fantasy IX and X, the company also has additional Final Fantasy Remake projects in 
in the works. However, a leaker who goes by the name of Midori was responding to questions on Twitter. And Midori recently claimed that though Square Enix does indeed have Final Fantasy remakes in the works, a remake of Final Fantasy X, contrary to past reports, doesn't actually exist. That said, the leaker also claims that the long rumored Final Fantasy IX remake is absolutely real and in the works. When the rumored remake will officially be revealed remains to be seen, though fans of the Final Fantasy X game will be disappointed to know that it isn't actually being brought back as some may have anticipated. And if Midori's claims are indeed accurate, it's only number nine that we're looking forward to, so Final Fantasy IX remake. So recently, a remake of Final Fantasy IX was seemingly teased by Naoki Yoshida, who is the director and producer of Final Fantasy XIV and producer of Final Fantasy XVI. So if you're a fan of the Final Fantasy games, at least you know you've got number nine re being remade, but apparently number 10 is not going to happen. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comments about today's topics. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.